Hey everybody, welcome. Toy Car Collector presents Kroger Store Peg Prowling for Toy Cars. January 23rd, 2020, video number 432. Please remember to subscribe and leave your comments below. So here I am walking the toy aisles at the Kroger Store. Fred Meyer here in Portland, Oregon, checking out. And what do I spy? I spy very full racks of Hot Wheels. Now there's never really anything in this area. No, there never is, but there's more. There are more Hot Wheels to be found. Two giant bins, look at those bins. Uh oh, but it looks like they've been picked through. Whenever one side is bigger than the other, that means somebody's gone through it. And but look at these pegs. There's got to be something here. Got, oh my gosh, there's more. Holy smokes! How many Hot Wheels do they have in the store? Definitely over a thousand Hot Wheels. There's got to be something good in there. There just has to be. I know it. I know it. And not. I'm not talking about last month's models, last week's models. I'm talking about where are the brand new models? Where are they? Where are the good ones? Where are all the treasure hunts? Well, you know, forget that. But okay. Oh my gosh, here is another rack. And these, oh my gosh, these pegs are completely full. There's got to be something in there. Don't you think there's got to be something in there? Okay, well, I did go through everything. I really did. I looked high, I looked low, and I did find some leftovers from last month. But anyway, as I looked around, I had to go back to what I normally do, and that is back over to the nine packs. You know, whenever I really need a Hot Wheels fix, I look for the nine packs because there's going to be something good in there. If you see that last one had the Volkswagen. Now, this one has the GTO, and I have not picked up that GTO yet. I need that GTO. Don't have it yet. Firebird pack. I did pick this one up last uh, last time I was at the store, so I have that one. And then we're looking here. This one also has the Firebird. Nothing interesting in there. What do we got here? What do we got? It's got to be something good in there. Look at a lot of Firebirds, but you never know. And a lot of these cars that are in these nine packs, I think some of them, uh, even the one that's not exclusive, never comes out. Oh, look at this one. This one's got the, oh, the red the red gas monkey corvette i gotta have that i really do i really do but that package only had two good cars in it let's look at this one. Oh, this has the new volkswagen and the and the gas monkey red corvette gotta get that gotta get it oh here it's another one oops drop oh i knocked over that uh that big truck gotta put that back okay let's see okay this one's got the volkswagen and it's got the corvette and it's got Two more Corvettes. Maybe I should get that one. I think I might get that one. And then here's the Volkswagen again, the Corvette, and nothing much else in that. A lot of junky cars in there. A lot of the junky cars. The peg warmers, as we call them. Here's the Volkswagen again. Uh, nothing else in there. Hmm. Really love those little bugs. Of course, everybody loves bugs. You know that. Everybody loves bugs. So keep looking. Okay, Corvette. I don't know. Let's see. What do I got over here? I got the uh, bug with the Corvette. No, no, not that pack. Put that one back, Dave. Come on. <clears throat> Put it back. Put it back. All right. That one's got that one's got three Corvettes and the bug. I think we're gonna go ahead and take that one. Gonna go ahead and take that. Take that home. What else? Is there another one I could get? I don't think there is another one I got. I had a couple here at the house already from last week. And uh as I disappointedly put these back. And then see what I made out with. Oh, look at that. There's the fish and chipped. Oh, I like that little little oldie there. I call it an oldie. So it was kind of boring in the nine packs today, but I did go ahead and score the Volkswagen and the red the red gas monkey garage. That is a, such a pretty car. If they come out in a single pack, I'm definitely going to grab extras of that one. Oh, look at that Nissan. That's a, or I guess it would be a Datsun back then, of course. And then there's that pack. Am I taking that one? I think I'm taking that one. Then I bought a few extras of some of my favorites from last month. Oh, and then we're done. All right, everybody. I just came out of the Fred Meyer store and I found like a couple of new cars, but only on half packs. And uh, when I was coming out, I came in at like 745 and there was actually a guy behind me and maybe a guy in the store already. And then as I was checking out, I said, uh, man, it's, you know, I did find something new, but there's all these cars. It's completely full. You know, what's the deal? He goes, oh, yeah, there were five guys here at seven o'clock in the morning. They all got like 10 cars a piece. So as far as me going to Fred Meyer in the morning at 745, 8 o'clock, I'm not doing it anymore because it's just not worth it. I got like a donut car. I got one circle track with Mattel on it. I got a donut car. I mean, I got nothing. 
So it's a complete waste of time. Unless you want to be at the store when it opens on the days that you know the cars are being put out and you don't mind uh, hustling in, in there with like five other guys, forget about it. Go online, order a case, do something else because just, just buying Hot Wheels at the store is just not worth it. So I'm going to, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not. I'm not going to the store hopeful, hopeful, forget about it. It's just a waste of time. Although I did get a, uh, if you're like me and you can only go occasionally, then uh, two things you gotta look for. One, you gotta look for the uh, half packs like this, because the guys don't really want these, the half packs. Not really, unless it's something super special. But you can find something in the nine packs occasionally. So I got a nice Volkswagen, which is like a, only in this pack. And then I got a red Corvette, the Gas Monkey is now red, and then the gold Corvette, which I haven't opened up in one of those yet, and then this white Corvette. So there were three Corvettes in this, so that's pretty cool. Ten bucks. Sometimes you get them on sale for half price, or buy two, get one free. But, man, as far as getting anything new at the store, unless you're a professional, go-to-the-store kind of guy, it ain't going to happen. So I'm getting out of here, going home. I'm opening up a few things, and uh, we'll make some video here. All right, bye. All right, everybody. You know, I'm always telling you, if you've watched any of my videos before, you might have heard me say that one of the only ways that I can get some really cool new cars is to buy these nine packs because I'm just not there when the store opens. I don't know anybody at the store and I can't get all the new cars. So I picked up this box the other day. Actually, I bought three boxes because like I say, this is the only place I can get cool new cars. And I like to get them because I don't know if these cars will ever be in single packs. And if they are, I don't know if I'll be able to get them. So... This particular one got the Firebird, the 55, which is my favorite. This is totally my favorite. And the Corvettes, of course, I love Corvettes. Camaros, love Camaros. And I'm not sure what car this is, but this scheme was on a truck recently. And I was like, you know, that truck looks pretty cool with this scheme. So I'm just actually just now noticing now that I've got this model. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. First one up is a nice blue Corvette. Look at that nice blue Corvette. It's got some neat new wheels on it, very fancy. Metal bottom, plastic top. It's quite interesting, actually. Those wheels are neat. They're like a deep dish wheel with slotted. Very, very nice. I think I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna like that. That's a nice Corvette. Here's that black, satin black. I just can't, you know, I just love this satin black car. It just looks cool, even though it's only a portion of the Hot Wheels logo. I think I'm gonna have to have every car that has this design on it for sure let's see what this is this is a what is this this is a torque twister with a basketball theme on it not something that i would ever collect right there but a lot of people will like that kind of a kitty car kitty car here's a purple camaro look at that that's a nice one purple camaro is that the uh, copo yeah 68 copo camaro very nice all right so we got corvette we got camaro we got Firebird, look at that beauty. Whoa, that is nice. Wow, that is a nice car. Really nice. Some better wheels would really fix that up. If those Corvette wheels were on this, that would that would be choice. Also in this pack, a couple of fantasy cars. Let's see if the names are on them. Formula Solar. Look at that. You know, every once in a while I think, you know, I should collect some of these cars because they're just so darn neat. I love the plastic. I love the semi-see-through. And this one has, what What does it do? Front comes up a bit, so you can look inside there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't want to put that back. Usually when I get done with these nine packs, I fill them up, put them in my mall space for five bucks after paying ten bucks for them. But I put dumb cars in them. But look at this, 55. That is so gorgeous. That one, a couple of years from now, when you look back and you've got this car in your collection, you'll be like, man, I'm sure glad I got that. <laughs> Sure, glad I got that. Let's see, this one also has a couple of formula cars. Are these the same model? Now, that's kind of weird. This 9-pack has two of the same exact car in two different colors, you know? Chances are one of them might turn out to be a scarce one, but I'll never know. I will never know because I'm just going to stick that back in there. Grab up another one. I've got three 9-packs. This one actually I got last month because it had also the Firebird which I don't mind having two Firebirds for now. I'll take it, I'll take two Firebirds. I'm okay with that, two Firebirds. But I bought this pack because I was afraid I might not find this car right here. I love this car. This is so cool. And I don't know, you know, it's been like a, what a, 
satin gray, but I don't know if it's going to, this color is going to make the pack. It's so pretty. I love that car. Absolutely love it. And of course, I like this one. This one's cool. Probably have, I think I have this one already, but this is the quintessential uh, matchbox, or <laughs> matchbox, <laughs> quintessential high wheels car. It's a hot rod. It's jacked up. It's got fat tires. It's super cool. It's got flames. So what more could you want out of a Hot Wheels car? This one also has the Greenwood Corvette, which in this gold looks fantastic. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. I'll keep that. I'll keep that Greenwood Corvette. And I don't know, you know, maybe these other... What is this? Is this an Acura? Acura NSX. No, nah, not my cup of tea. Some people like the NSX. I'm more of a Toyota Celica guy, actually. I'm a Toyota Celica guy. Hang on a second here. Let me get this out. I'm doing it with one hand. I like this one. Look at that. That is cool. That's a sweet ride right there. Ooh, wow. That is something to behold. I love that. Let's see what else we got in here. Nothing special. A purple one of these, whatever it is. Mono Posto, all right, Mono Posto. And a blue one of these, or silver. Time Tracker, Time Tracker. Hmm, put a lot of effort into that. Too bad, I gotta save that. What is this Borla thing? Borla, Ford Mustang GT. Oh, okay, that looks all right, that looks all right. Not a bad model, not bad at all. Got another one of these, got another one of these. This one I actually did buy yesterday, also because it had this beautiful Volkswagen. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. Man, oh man. It's not going to come in a nine pack. You got to get it in this 10. Not, it's not going to come in a single pack. You've got to get it in this 10 pack. So do it. Do it now while you still can. And here's the Corvette convertible. I thought that looked pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not bad. And I also wanted this car. Look at that. Ooh, you think that's going to be in a pack? If it is, I'll have to get every one I see because that is cool. I keep extra Hot Wheels for my mall space to try to help pay the rent. Actually, you don't make any mall money. You don't make any mall money in a mall, mall money, money space because they charge so much. But it's awfully fun to put a bunch of junk in there and watch it sell. This is pretty cool. What is this? Exotique. Exotique. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, and there's this one here. I love this one. Bedlam. I think this is the one that came in that uh, satin black Hot Wheels logo. The Bedlam. I know I have one of those I wanted to open. And here is another Greenwood Corvette. I think I'll keep that one too. Just for the heck of it. I don't think it's going to stay up there. Okay, here we go. What's this? Another Indy car. Open wheel racer. DHN88. Is that the name of it? DHN88. All right, whatever. It's got actually a nice color scheme. So, can't fault him for that. I do have slippery fingers. People have mentioned that to me. What in the world is this? This thing, is this all plastic? No, it's metal on the bottom. Grupo X24. Well, okay. That is, uh, that's something different right there. Very juvenile, very little child looking. But it might be fun. Maybe it goes fast. I don't know. Did I look at all of them? Yes, I did. Wait, wait, one more. Oh, look at this. I do love these clear plastics. High-tech missile. High-tech missile. How cool is that? Very cool. All right, let's move on to some single packs. Single packs. I did get the donut car yesterday. I got the donut car. Not exactly something everybody needs, but, uh, you know, it's super cute. And my granddaughter will get this for Valentine's Day. She's going to get that. And here is the Volkswagen Beetle Moon Eyes. Might as well rip that guy open. What? There was a red one so far, and I think a blue one maybe? Something like that? Pretty darn neat. Moon Eyes. So cool. So cool. I guess I'll put that in the Volkswagen. Should I put that in the Volkswagen department or the truck department? I'm not sure. Of course, I picked up some extra Ford GT40s. I mean, what the coolest Hot Wheels car ever made, I say. And then this Porsche Carrera Black. I think I bought one of these already, but hey, let's check it out anyway. Black. That is a gorgeous car. Looks like a Corgi to me, but hey. 
It is beautiful. Nice and fat. Nice and fat. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Put that up there. No, down here. No, let's put it over here. Let's put it over there. I also got some of this circle track. And this is cool because it has the Mattel and 75. What is that? The Barbie anniversary? Hmm. Ah, yeah. 75th anniversary of Mattel. Very, very cool. It kind of slipped in there. Look at that. There's a logo right on the card. Got a couple of those. Then I found this. Alpine Auto Cup. Apparently, this is, I think, a new model, isn't it? Alpine Auto Cup? Oh, no, it's not Auto Cup. It's A110 Cup. Oh, for crying out loud. Look a little closer. Don't really need that, so I'm not going to pop that open. Let's see what else we got over here. What else? I know we've got more. Here, I would like this one. The Nissan Silva. Nissan Silva S13. I take it all back to what I said about Nissans. I like this one. I tried to buy a Nissan one time, back when it was still Datsun, actually. Are we getting a focus? There we are. It's got a neat paint job, and wow, look at those gold lace wheels. Holy smokes, that thing is fancy. That is so fancy. Oh, now look what you've made me do to my desk. It's a huge mess here again. Custom 18 Ford Mustang. I haven't opened one of these yet. I think this one's been around a while. It says, Special Feature... What? Oh, it's got an adjustable spoiler on the front. Kind of. It moves. That's about all. But it's nice looking. You know, it's nice looking. And you know, actually, now that I think of it, I have not opened one of these yet. I've got a few of them, but I haven't opened them. It just seems like a super duper car that will always be popular. Everybody's always going to want this one. This is a beauty. The Gulf. Why are the Gulf racing colors so pretty? They are just so, so pretty. Oh, I got this one too. The Mopar. 68 Dodge Dart. I definitely collect Dodge Darts. The Dart. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Look at that. It's so nice. Dodge Dart. Whoa. Get out of there. Whatever you are. And a couple more here. What's this? Oh, I haven't opened up one of these vans yet, but oh my gosh. Talk about one of the prettiest Hot Wheels ever made. That thing is gorgeous. Got a king on the side there. Ace on top. Wait a minute. What? The, oh, my gosh. King and ace. Why is there an ace on top of the king van? Hmm. I wonder. It's very cool, though. So pretty. The colors are just so vibrant and lovely. And look at this custom Ford Maverick. Oh, it was in my mall space for $2. And I was like, hey, you know what? I don't think I have one. So I paid myself, and I got myself a custom Ford Maverick. I love Ford Mavericks. One of the first cars I ever wanted was a Ford Maverick. What else is this? McLaren Senna. Senna. Yeah, let's see. Forza Horizon. I wanted to take a look at this. Hmm. I'm not real crazy about these $300,000 cars. Even at a dollar, they seem just goofy. But, uh, hey, you know... I know I've seen people on the internet make life li make life <laughs> guys on the internet. If you've ever wanted to check out a lot of cars like this, check out the Stradman. The Stradman on YouTube. He's got a really cool channel. He's a young guy who, like four years ago, started buying Lambert bought a Lamborghini just to make a YouTube channel, and it's really worked out well for him. I must say. I must say. All right, I wanted to round off today's video with a couple of vintage cars. This one, which is super, super gorgeous. Don't know if you've ever seen it before. 2010, it's a custom V8 Vega in black with red interior, gold wheels, chrome base. Wow, look at that card. That thing is gorgeous. Look at that picture. That picture is amazing. I love these cards, but what are you going to do with cards? They don't, you can't touch the car if it's in the card look at this thing that is so beautiful oh my gosh wow vega i love vega i love vega and one more check this out i pulled this out of the vintage section of my of my storage chevy lumina minivan oh for crying out loud chevrolet v lumina by the way the Chevy Lumina and the Pontiac Transport were some of the most dangerous vehicles you could ever drive. You don't want to get in a collision in one of these because you will not like it. But there it is. 
What a goofy Hot Wheels. Look at that thing. Have they made anything that goofy since, what was this, 1990? Holy smokes, let's look at the card. Oops, got stuck over here on a wire. This card was 1991. Whoa, this is old. This is 30 years old almost. Good Lord. Look at that Chevy Illumina minivan. Door only on one side back in those days. This one doesn't even look like it was made right. There's no doors on the back. Oh, well, whatever. But that was a good lot of Hot Wheels. I'm going to go ahead and put these in my collection and enjoy them. And I will see you on the next video. So for now, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Put your comments below. And check out these other four videos that I have. I've got over 430 videos. They are all excellent and fun to watch. So check them out. And thanks for watching. And see you at the Target store.